Hi everyone, my name is Jacobo and I'm a software engineer at Igalia. I've been working on Chrome accessibility for the last couple of years and I've spent several months working on accessible name and description calculation, ACNAME for short. This is an important area in web accessibility. Interactive elements have names which are in turn spoken or brailed by assistive technologies like screen readers. For example, a button with the text new likely has an accessible name of new, but a button with just a bold B might have an author provided accessible name of bold. If an interactive element lacks a meaningful name, it's hard for a user who is blind to make sense of its, pur of its purpose. Name calculation can get quite complex. There are different attributes that, attributes that affect it. It may require recursively looking at descendant elements. Given this complexity, there is a W3C spec, for which you can find the link here. The algorithm in the spec attempts to address the many different ways to name content, establish priorities when multiple and maybe conflicting sources are present, and handle various corner cases that have been discovered over the years. Chrome's implementation of this spec is, not surprisingly, pretty complex too. The logic is spread across 12 functions belonging to different classes, and they call each other creating cycles. It for performs different kinds of traversals too, depending on the information we are looking for. So this is what my colleagues and I have achieved so far in the last months. We landed around 300 new tests that help detect corner cases and bugs in our implementation. We filed issues against the spec about things we found unclear. The most discussed one uh, involved name calculation from a hidden subtree. You may know authors can label things out of a hidden node using aria labeled by, but we found out that every major browser was doing this slightly differently. The discussion is still ongoing. We fixed bugs. The most visible one was uh, about CSS pseudo elements before and after, which were missing from the act name. And finally, and this is the most technically complex task, uh, we streamlined our traversal code to calculate a name from descendants, reusing the accessibility tree instead of doing a new DOM traversal every time. Actually, I'm still working on this, but I hope it's landed by blink on date. This change had a lot of uh, side effects uh, that sometimes exposed the existing bugs that we also fixing, but it is worth the effort because it clears up our code, it's faster and fixes bugs. All this was a lot of work and there are still things to do, but we achieved a lot. Uh, better code, fixed bugs, more test coverage, improvements in the spec, so it was totally worth it. That's it. Thank you very much for your attention.